How many times can you fold a piece of paper in half? Seven. Eight. Eight times. One. What? Regular sheet of A4, I should think about six times. That's how big is it? Oh, it's a limit, isn't it? Six or something. Eight. No, you can't do more than eight. Eight. Why eight? Because that's the home time to control it. Okay, let's roll. Mathematicians have wasted years of their life trying to work this out. We're going to waste an hour and do it with a big piece, because surely the bigger the paper, the more you can fold it. When you continually fold a piece of paper in half, the thickness increases exponentially. Basically, that's just a fancy way of saying that with one fold, it's twice as thick, two folds, four times thicker, and three folds, eight times thicker, and so on. Go over that way. How many more are we going to get out of this? time you get to the eighth fold, it's thicker by a factor of 256, and by then, it's pretty hard to turn over. Do you want me to go back? Actually, not, isn't it? OK. That's it. Now, will that stay if you get off? So eight folds is our limit with ordinary writing paper. But can we do better with something longer and thinner, like industrial bog roll? Two-ply toilet tissue, exactly twice as long as the first piece and also half as thick. It's big enough for a whopping 70,000 wipes, but does that mean we can make more folds in it? Well, no. It doesn't seem to work like that. The advantage you gain from it being longer and thinner also diminishes exponentially, so that as we fold it, it just gets pretty similar in size to what we had before. So even if you had a piece of paper the size of Britain, you'd be wasting your money. By the time you get down to the final folds, it's pretty hard to force into shape. <laughs> but can we at least get nine? We're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Excellent. Nine. nine. <laughs> and there you go, a truly magnificent nine folds, with a little help. Mm. Mm.